First suturing which I'm going to demonstrate will be the knot tying technique. I'll do. I'll show you where I put the suture. Then we'll come to that. This is the we'll do four suturing techniques. There are many of them written here. Four essential ones. The simple interrupted. That's the first one you'll learn. So let's do the full thing now. We are going to hold the needle holder, the needle with the needle holder. I'm going to use the thumb forces. Let's say I'm going to do a suturing here. The first one, the simple interrupted one. It's really not very difficult at all. So like I told you, you can hold it either this way or this way. I prefer to hold it this way because I get more control. <coughs> you should be able to hear the clicks, then you know how much pressure you've applied. Now it's stable. No, no taxes, no everything. Watch. So, suppose I'm doing the switch ring. With the tooth forcep, hold one end of the place where you want to put the switcher. Here, for your guidance, they have already put dots here. In an actual situation, you will not have these dots. Mm -hmm. So we have to determine approximately half a centimeter at this side to half a centimeter at that side. So take a good grip of the skin. It's a good grip so that you can lift it up. Take the first bite through full thickness with a slight curving motion so that, as you can see in the lower picture, less of the epidermis and more of the dermis is taken. There's a meaning behind that because we want the edges to be slightly everted. Inversion is not a good thing. Eversion is required. That only gives a good healing, epidermis to dermis, epidermis and dermis to dermis, and it produces a good hairline scar. So that's why we have curved needles. Of course, we do use straight needles for various situations, but here, curved is the... So a slight more of the epidermis, a little less of the dermis, full thickness. If you find difficulty, you can take it out and you can take the next one. Or you can do it both in one shot. It doesn't matter. It depends on how big the needle is and how deep the suture on the, the skin is. I've just removed it. So one bite. Next bite, again, take a good grip of the opposite side. Give a slight push and you can see the tip of the needle pushing. So I know approximately this is the way place I want to come out out here. Once you release it, catch hold of the tip and keep pull it out with a curving motion. Keep pulling till you reach an approximate reasonable size. Don't keep this too long because remember you'll be cutting it off. This will be a waste. We have to conserve material. At least if you don't, your assistant is going to jump at you. So keep it of sufficient length so that you know we can afford to. Now the previous slide that not time technique is shown. Watch this. Another thing which I forgot to tell you about the suture material was when I was talking about is the not holding characteristics of suture materials. These monofilament materials, synthetic, non-observable monofilament material, they tend to slip. You can try it. You can take a piece of nylon and you try to make a loop. You make two throws of a knot, it will slip off. If you take a cotton two throws or your shoelace for example, you don't put, put ten knots, it holds. Nylon synthetic material, they tend to slip. So we have to use multiple throws, otherwise they will slip. Okay, now how to tie the knot? The long end, two loops clockwise. Tip, hold the tip. Cross. Give it sufficient pull to make it a little tight, but it is not sufficiently tight yet because it will slip off. See, it's already slipping out. Now, with my hand like this, anti clockwise two loops. Again, hold the tip and same direction. My hand will come back to the left, tighten a little bit. Four throws, two, two. I usually like to put six or eight because anything less than that tends to slip. Again, two loops. Catch hold of the tip. Again, cross. 
again two loops anti clockwise catch hold of the tip bring it back and once you have finally made the knot eight throws give a little flip like that so that the knot goes away from the suture line either this side or this side Never keep the knot on the suture line because it will give a very painful and a bad scar. Once this is over, don't remove it. Keep the tension. Take the scissor, apex below the knot, cut it approximately half a centimeter away. Why do we keep this much length? Two reasons. Reason number one, seven days later you have to remove it. If you keep it too small, you will not get a good grip to remove it. I'm going to show you how to cut it. The second reason is, as I told you, they tend to slip. Even after putting eight throws, if I keep that end very small, it might slip off. So, so I'm going to do one another one first, and then I'm going to cut towards it, uh, the knot, and then you'll start doing your own. So this is the technique. I'm going to do the next one. One more, just to, so that you can see it. Good grip. Full thickness, a little more of the epidermis. Opposite side. Full thickness. Curving out, double clockwise, hold the tip, anti-clockwise, hold the tip, clockwise, hold the tip, anti-clockwise, hold the tip, flip. technique. Seven days later, the patient comes to you. You're going to remove this. There are, that slide is also there. How many days later to remove the sutures? Most times it's seven days, sometimes it's five days, sometimes it's nine days, sometimes it's ten days. You will take the average figure. Seven days. Catch hold of a grip with the tooth forcep. Catch hold of the knot. Get a good grip. Not on the suture line, but away from the suture line. Put the pointed portion under the loop. Cut. And when you're pulling out the knot, don't pull this way because I have experienced it. Sometimes the suture line is still not fully healed. When you prepare to pull this way, it pops open. So pull like this. Next one. Get a good grip. Put the pointed end under the loop, away from the suture line. Cut with the tip. Pull. Pull procedure is done. Please go back to your respective stations and start off with the first switching.